<laughs> How you doing? All right. Uh, finished it then. Uh, Revel one in one four four, bit smaller than my usual scale. Uh, space shuttle with a couple of rockets on the side, a bit of a crawler and a fuel tank. Uh, what a kit! It's, it only seems like two minutes since I was posting on and saying, uh, you know, I've, I've dropped on this kit uh, and I've knocked it off. Uh, I have knocked it off because I've just absolutely hammered it. I've been on holiday this week. So, uh, first week in January 2021. Chucked an holiday in and uh, managed to knock this off. Now, the people that I chat to regular online, like your Alistair's, and uh, Rob from Medicine Hat in Canada, I may hope you well. Uh, <clears throat> they will know that I can burn uh, the candle at both ends dead easy, uh, especially when I'm on holiday uh, and kids are off school. Because we're still in the middle of uh, COVID-19. Uh, so no sort of reason, if you will, to be able to uh, get up on the morning. Uh, no dramas there. So I've been in, I've been in here by like half past two in the morning. Cracking on. Uh, Graham, uh, I am eight, hope you're well. Uh, bloody hell, mate, you're a fast builder. Not really. Uh, when you put loads and loads of time in, obviously, you know, you can crack on, can't you? And I don't think it's about being fast. I think it's about being building smart in, obviously, with a very simple kit. It weren't a, a shake and bake. But it was a simple kit nevertheless. Uh, and when you put the time in, and more importantly, when you work in a certain way, uh, with sub assemblies and one thing or another, it seems like it seems like you're doing note, and then all of a sudden in the last sort of couple of days it just goes bleh and it and it's done. So, <clears throat> you know, that's what I did. Started off we uh, I built the base first and uh, got that sort of built but it looked a bit bland so I sort of held back off that a little bit if you will onto rocket boosters which is just two halves in the nose going on top and thruster underneath so there no drama uh, fuel tank central fuel tank the the thing that uh, it didn't, I didn't take my time with it the thing that I had to work out what color on it because like I said in past you know you do research and it's like hey, we're trying to get a colour match because on some shots when you when you're going to Google and you type in uh, shuttle main fuel tank hit images obviously it brings over a shed load of images and when you start looking you're thinking well that's brown and then you scroll down that's orange you scroll down that's got a tint of red and I do believe it's because the fuel tank the the I'm going to call it paint right the paint it's painted in. Uh, it's temperature sensitive, that's what it is. So, the warmer the environment it's in, the more of a sort of orangey glow that it's got. And it's in a cold environment, it turns a mucky brown. Uh, that's my understanding. Uh, I might be wrong, I, I don't know. So, solid rocket boosters, fuel tank, uh, and the crawler knocked them off. I didn't paint uh, crawler just yet. But got all that sort of, so all them three sub assemblies done. Then I painted, uh, then I started actually, then I started onto the shuttle. And the reason that I'd left it off so long was because I'd heard, uh, actually I'd heard one fit issue that were sort of putting me off. And with this I've got one, two, three, four, five, five components to build. And, you know, you can sort of like these, the, the self-explanatory, you can just knock them together, it's no drama. Then we crawler. There's a couple of little bits that I've added on from from actually that should be in payload in in, in tank. Uh, because uh, I'm from Yorkshire, so if it's in the box, it's going on. Uh, I've said that before, and I know it makes some people chuckle. Uh, so there's a couple of little sort of silly drums on back end, and there actually they should go together and go in inside cargo bay. But if it's in the box, it's on the kit, it's going on. So. I know it's not 100% accurate, uh, I've got, uh, Daz has already commented and said, you know, what it made in pole in this crawler. Daz, uh, I am uh, no it weren't obviously, it was made in America, uh, but uh, just a couple of little decals, just add on decals. You've got to remember, the whole purpose of me building this kit was for George. Now, I know, you know, 
and there'll be a shed load of people out there also know that that's Polish flag for you know I've got it off flogger kit uh, to be absolutely honest but I just wanted something so again saw that I can say to George look you know it's a bit of a warning square really George if you will he don't know when he gets older and he comes back to me and I'm 17 and he says dad help you lying shite that's Polish flag I'll say fair enough mate you've got me but in the meantime <laughs> that's, that's just about it Kit instructions, I went through kit instructions, <coughs> uh, I don't really need to uh, go through them, I will, <coughs> I will, I was going to say I don't really need to go through them to tell you how it built, but I will, I'll tell you. So, starting on uh, section one, you've got two halves of fuse large, I'm sure, I'm like a repetitive thing, you've got two halves of fuse large and one thing or another, now the thing that put me off with that particular kit was the window, because I'd heard absolute horror stories about it and i didn't even sort of like put the two halves together and then put the window in as just as a dry fit i thought i'll put it off i'll put it off i'll put it off uh, and you know obviously at the end of the day you have to put it on don't you what, what it a bad fit let's score everything out of 10. actually we're an 8 out of 10. uh though the wind is not that bad at all uh it's sort of like it's a curved window like that but then it's got a piece that goes over the top like that and it's all one piece it's all it's like a T shape, that's it. So this bit's your window and then it's got a bar coming off and it sits like let me have a thing. So if that, that's your window there and then it's got a piece coming off at the top and that's that little piece there. I don't know if you can see it. And it just glues in. So actually no drama. That were all alright. Okay. So a couple of struts inside. Uh you can have doors open, obviously I've gone for doors closed burners on and <coughs> wings on let's have a look wings two halves go together they just go on you've got your rockets uh rockets exhaust on back undercarriage obviously i didn't touch would i would i do this kit i don't think i'd do this kit you know sort of like on the ground there's certain builds and certain aircraft that either look better in flight or in a particular stance that you're used to seeing and it, it's all, all the excitement and all the drama about a space shuttle is here and when it's going up when it's when it's coming down yeah okay so wheels wheels uh, i didn't even touch as far as bottom of the screen so as far as can you see just down at the bottom of the screen there <coughs> all the uh all the bay doors uh, they went on all right a little bit of filler and bit of sand and no problem uh 22 again you can see 22 look i just didn't do any of that okay because that's all your cargo as far as cargo is concerned you know once it's all done i'll offer you that up once it's all done i mean there's a fair old little bit of payload in there and there's a boom arm i think and there's an astronaut on a tether uh, and one thing and another and I suppose if you've got it in flight, actually it won't look too bad. It won't look too bad at all. But I didn't do it. Uh, the stuff that I saved, I chucked on base. You know what I mean? Stage 27 is just putting wings together and then 28, that's it, you've done it. Now, I know that I've absolutely flown through with that and you're like, well, hang on a minute, I, I don't really know. If, you, if you're watching it... It's a simple kit to build, okay. Uh, it, it's about a level two, three absolute tops. Solid rocket boosters is just two halves with your nose cone on top and a bit underneath. That's it. So you've two of them. Solid, uh, so your fuel tank in middle is two halves. Now, there are some struts, uh, and you have got to put them on left and right. And I do sometimes labour on about that, saying... You know, I know people that cut stuff off sprues and they just chuck it in a bag or whatever and it's like, chick, 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 pick that part out, well I hope it's right. You can't do that, okay? When you come to put your arms on bottom of fuel tank, right, they've got to be, they've got to be right ones for left and right. They're in there, okay? So, once them two are done and I knew that I were all right with crawler, crawler was just a matter of sort of mottling it. Uh, I've got loads of still shots on, on Facebook. Uh, it was just a matter, a, a matter of mottling it. Uh, the tracks that it comes with, uh, 
X, X1 black and then dry brush with gun metal just to because I know it goes down a road I know it's a dusty road uh, by all accounts but <clears throat> nevertheless uh, and then your decals uh, you've got three alternatives you've got Enterprise Discovery and Endeavour uh, Enterprise I didn't go for that because I'm of sort of Star Trek era and the Enterprise for me is Kirky shit uh, and then <clears throat> The other one that you can do, uh, you've got Endeavour, I'll get onto that in a second, uh, Atlantis, uh, man from Atlantis, no, Endeavour, I chose Endeavour for simple reason being, it's I, I Endeavour, is that the right word, I Endeavour to build a decent kit one day, uh, so that's why I called, that's why I chose Endeavour on this one. So, <clears throat> white on your paint job, as far as the main fuel tank is concerned, I've got it right here, I'll give it a quick shake, uh, it's that one and you can see, I've called it, I don't know if you can see that, shuttle main tank, uh, and actually there's quite a bit left in there, that's 60% X6, which is orange, uh, and then so about 20, maybe 20-30% 20, XF72, which is like a brown colour, and then just a bit of buff, a bit of XF78, just to lighten it up, just to make sure. Uh, and you can see that, I don't know if you can see it actually, you can see the buff colour just below the nose cone. Now there is a fair bit of detail that I've put into the kit, uh, that it doesn't show you on, you know, in instructions. Like up at top here, I know that you can't really see, but there's, once I've finished actually, I'll get my phone and I'll just show you. Uh, there's some ribs. Now, uh, on, the, on the main pictures that I've seen on Google, I don't know why the ribs are there, uh, but I wanted to replicate that, which I did alright. Uh, so, once the tank's done and the two arms are done, your everything else is done, crawler's done, and I'm pretty much onto the white of the actual space shuttle. <clears throat> now, what I wanted to do was, on instructions for belly paint job, it says H. Okay, because I've already had a comment already saying I thought that the underside of the shuttle was black. Let me just see what H is. H in this Revel guide says anthracite grey matte. And I do believe, <clears throat> believe, do believe that that is almost like a black. But again, when you start to go on to Google and type in shuttle belly, I know, I said in previous video, I knew that it was ceramic tiles and once I've gone on to uh, Google, these ceramic tiles, that some of them are black, but there's a lot of them that are grey and white and, and all sorts of different colours. So my main thing on that was how can I replicate, I just don't, I want, how can I replicate that? I'm interrupting myself. I don't, I don't just want to paint it grey because that just looks naff. Okay. The other thing that I did with this kit, thanks to Rob again from Canada, uh, I magnetised it. I magnetised the shuttle to the uh, fuel tank, so now it <clears throat> it literally just pops off like that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to offer that up <clears throat> best I can and hope that it focuses, because I know it's a crappy little camera, uh, and you might be able to see... Well, you should be able to see loads of black dots. You can see it magnets where my fingers are, and there's a magnet up at top there, look. But I'm hoping if I just twist it, you might just be able to see a bit of that tile replication that I've done. <clears throat> How did you do that? I'm going to show you. So basically, I've got this. Uh, it's a sheet of mesh, and you can see here there's a dark patch. And if I just bring it closer to like that, you can see, obviously, and it's it's quite rigid. Uh, and basically, to replicate that, it was just literally a matter of pouring it on and going pss, 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 and spraying over it. Now, I mean, you know, I'm, that sounds simple. <clears throat> there is about four or five different colours on there, you can see. It's not a mottled effect. Basically, what I did was I held up the mesh and the first colour that I sprayed was gun metal. Then I did. Uh, uh, then what I did was, with the mesh, instead of just leaving it there and then spraying black, I twisted it slightly, then sprayed black. Then I twisted it slightly again, and I sprayed XF19, which is a grey, 
twisted it again, XF1, black, twisted it again, XF80, very light grey, ghost grey. Uh, and once I'd started to know that, and then just touching it up again then with, uh, with, with sort of just highlights of black, uh, and again, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but basically what you've got is you've got a bit of a crisscross pattern, and all that light over my right shoulder is not really helping, is it? Uh, you've got a bit of a crisscross pattern, okay. Can you see it? Is it coming through? Maybe, just there, look. You've got a bit of a crisscross pattern, okay. Uh, and that's just to replicate that sort of, you know, under belly. Uh, <clears throat> last time I did Flogger, I corrected this kit by saying if it had had this and it had had that, then it would sort of score more points. And I could absolutely go to town on this kit and say if it had got a multitude of things then it would be a, a much better kit. I think as far as the detail is concerned, uh, I'm not sure what it retails for, is it 30, 35 quid, something like that. Uh, and again with Flogger I said you get what you pay for, and I suppose with this you get what you pay for. It, you've got to take your time, because there's a couple of fit issues. Not on that, and not on that, they're fine. All your work is in here, and again... Uh, the the bay doors uh, you can see obviously mine's seamless uh, but you I, you can also see uh, well you can't see I ended up I ended up spending two hours solid two hours solid uh, <clears throat> with, with sanding sticks and filler uh, smoothing it out now I'm not saying I went. I didn't go up and down scale either. Well, no, I did. Uh, I started off with rough, rough as rough as a bear's ass. That's what I started with. Filled it off, let it dry half an hour, and then I've got the black, the pink, and the white sanding sticks. So over with black, and you can see, and then you know just sort of wiping it off, and then over with a pink, a bit more filler, leave it half an hour. Over with a pink, back you go. Over with a white, bit more filler, smooth, 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 and then I've got a sanding sponge that it, well, it's there's hardly out left on it. It's almost like a finishing sponge. It's not a finishing sponge. It's one that's just been absolutely hammered to death. Uh, but that brought it off, uh, and that put me a perfect seam on doors. As far as Real McCoy is concerned, perfect seam, I've no idea. They've probably aligned down centre in the work doors, sort of closed, but I, I didn't put it on. You've got to remember this is for my lad. He's only nine. Okay, uh, so I'm sort of 50 50 split on. I've got to do the best job I can, but it's for my lad. But I want to do the best job I can, but it's for my lad. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sort of like. If I'd have built it for myself, would I have done a different job? Probably not, to be fair. It is what it is, and it comes together how it comes together. There's no there's no dramas on it. Uh, the the decals, they're, they're all all right. Uh, there's a couple of areas where you think, but you know, how am I going to cut that decal off sheet, and how am I going to fit it onto the There's some that's got like a, a looped piece of black on it, and stuff like that. Uh, but from experience, uh, a lot of the decal areas on my kit have airbrushed on, uh, leading edges on wings, uh, stripe up, up front at tail, all that front end, uh, because it's just a lot, it's just a lot easier uh, to paint it on than it is to try to wrap some, you know, some decal around front, because that can be an absolute nightmare. Uh, I can't correct the kit. Oh no, well I can actually. That that cargo bay door, uh, I spoke to some guys last night uh, and they said well actually the reason that it's such a sod to fit that middle is because it's supposed to be open. Uh, when you do your open open bay doors, down at the bottom there look, can you see? When you do your open bay doors I'm pretty sure you know that it's, it's nice and lovely and everything about it. Uh, it's just people like me and you isn't it that want it closing. I've posted on Facebook and I've had a couple of lads come back and said, Chuck Fennell, you know, I'm building it and I hope mine's as good as yours. And uh, I, I've seen some other examples. At the end of the day, not a competition, right? I've just built it because, you know, it, it was there, readily available, and I know that my lad would like it. So uh, don't compare what you're doing with me. 
Uh, I'm just your average Joe and I just knock them together as, as fast as they go. Okay. Uh, did I enjoy it? I did. I did enjoy it. Yeah, it's decent. Uh, I enjoyed the crawler. Enjoyed all this part. This one my favourite part. Uh, that and, and doing belly on shuttle. That one my favourite part. Okay. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. Next kit is going to be the tornado that I've got. Uh, I am back at work tomorrow, so I'm just going to start. I'll not be back in again. Uh, I've basically milked uh, this this time uh, that I've been on holiday uh, because, you know, why wouldn't you do that? So, I've taken some still shots on it. Uh, I, I don't know if you can see, but up there I'm pointing, follow end of my finger up there, that's top of my cardboard. Uh, that I've just used as a white backdrop because the, the it's so tall when you want to shoot from a low angle and obviously you're shooting up you've got to have some at all I don't think you'd be able to fit it in a bloody light box anyway by the by uh, painted with all Tamiya paints I've told you what my mix is black white all these uh, trunks down at the bottom they're all decals uh, they went on no problem uh, in fact all decals went on no problem uh, absolutely fine all right would i build it again uh no i wouldn't i'm not a space shuttle spacey type builder i'm a fast jet builder so no i probably won't build it again but that's not because the kit's that bad because actually you know it's gone together in what about seven to ten days uh maybe sort of six seven hours a day uh steady away uh, but not, I won't build it again, I've built it now, uh, but if anybody said to me, I'm after a space shuttle kit to build for my lad, for a school project, for cadets, for whatever, uh, and, and I've heard that this Revel 1 in 4 4, 1 4 4, with tanks and one thing another is, is a difficult kit, what would you say? I'd say no mate, uh, you know, for money, you get five massive components, massive, you get five massive components, they all go together relatively okay. Just watch what you're doing with that cargo bay door. Uh, I would suggest that you do this for the belly. And other than that, no, no drama. Everything's okay. Uh, hope this video has been alright for you. Uh, you can see breath on me again because it's cold in shed. So I'm not going to hang about, I'm, I'm going in. Uh, next kit, like I say, it's my tornado. Uh, that's a, a 1 in 48. Uh, and it's the 3.1 uh, Aster, but that'll be uh, a, a week now before I start on that. Okay, uh, take care, see you soon.